Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 24 Madden Madden rebuild. But okay, uh, today we are going to be rebuilding the Denver Broncos. Now, last time we did the who did we do? We did the Cincinnati Bengals. Funny, I just recorded that episode like two days ago. No, <laughs> can't even remember who I did. <clears throat> but now we're working on the Denver Broncos. So let's go take a look down at their roster here. Russell Wilson is going to cost us a lot of money. Look at that penalty if we release them. $82 million. Oh, Lord. He's a 34 overall. He's not going to get better. I don't know what to do about him. It's going to suck. Jarrett Stidham's here as well and Ben Benici. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Javante Williams, Samaj Pirine, Tyler Batty, and Tony Jones Jr. Fullback, we got Michael Burton. Wide receiver, they got Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick, KJ Hamler, Marvin Mims Jr., Marquez Calloway, Kendall Hinton, you know, the former emergency quarterback, Montreal Washington, Little Jordan Humphrey, Jalen Virgil, and Brandon Johnson. Tight end, we got Greg Dulcich, Adam Trotman, Chris Manhurts, Albert O, and Michael Fraboni. I feel like, I always feel like Albert O is better than what he was. Or what Madden keeps giving him. I don't know. Sucks, but it's whatever. Greg Dulcich is also younger, so. <laughs> at left tackle, we got Garrett Bowles and Cameron Fleming. At left guard, we got Ben Powers and William Sherman. Center, Lloyd Cushenberry III, Alex Forsyth, and Kyle Fuller. Right guard is Quinn Miners and Luke Wattenberg. I'm pretty sure I have a Luke, Luke Wattenberg signed card somewhere. <laughs> uh, Mike McGlinchey, Isaiah Prince, and Quinn Bailey at right tackle. Left end, we got Tyler Lancaster. Matt Henningsen, Iwoma, Awazarike, I believe is how you say his name, Elijah Garcia. Uh, I'll probably be looking to find someone better at left end as well. Right end, we do have Zach Allen, the former Cardinal, one of the big free agency moves that the that they did with the uh, Broncos here. We also had Ben Powers, who's originally a Raven. That was also a big free agency move. But yeah, I, I don't remember all the rest of them. Defensive tackle, we have DJ Jones, Mike Purcell, and Jordan Jackson. Little left outside linebacker, we got Randy Gregory, Jonathan Cooper, Thomas Incombe, and Aaron Patrick. So Randy Gregory's going to be your starting outside backer. Your middle linebacker, we got Josie Jewell, Alex Singleton, Jonas Griffith, Drew Sanders, and Justin Strenad. Josie Jewell probably won't be on too much longer. I do want to eventually get Drew Sanders in there. He's a rookie, 72 overall. And, yeah, I don't know. Jonas Griffith is kind of high, but whatever. Both are starting middle linebackers, kind of old. I might be looking to move on from them. Right outside linebacker, we got Frank Clark, the former chief, another big free agency signing. Uh, Baron Browning and Nick Bonito. Corner, we have Patrick Sertain the second, Kawan Williams, Damari Mathis, Riley Moss, Tremaine Sm Smith, Essang Bassey, Fayon Hicks, and Delonte Hood. Riley Moss is one of their bigger draftees this year. He is a white corner, if you want to believe it or not. <laughs> Patrick Sertain, Quan Williams, Damari Mathis, all going to be our starters. Quan Williams probably won't be there for long. Probably going to look to replace him there with Riley Moss. Free safety, we got Justin Simmons and Caden Stearns. Strong safety is Kareem Jackson. Hey, he's still on the Broncos, yeah. <laughs> PJ Locke, Del Delarian, Turner Yell, and JL Skinner. Probably be looking to replace Kareem Jackson. Kicker, we got Brett Maher and Elliot Fry. And punter is Riley Dixon. So, solid. Not a terrible team in any sense of the way. It's just a team that really doesn't do a very good job at picking up on their momentum. You know what I'm saying? Uh, free agents. I wonder if they updated the free agent stuff. No, Delvin Cook and Ezekiel Elliott are still here. And I'm sure Jadeveon Clowney is still here as well. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> so they haven't upgraded the, updated the free agency stuff here. So Delvin Cook is supposed to be with the Jets. Ezekiel Elliott is supposed to be with the Patriots. And Genevieve Clowney is supposed to be with the Ravens. Kareem Hunt should also be signed with the team eventually. I don't know why he isn't yet. Really good player there. Andy Janovich. Uh, wide receiver we don't need. I don't remember what I was looking for here. I think I want to depth at D-tackle. I think I was going to sign. I'll sign Perry on Winfrey. He could be a backup D-tackle. Works for me. Uh, and I think that's all the depth I needed, but I needed a good left end. Fuck it, let's bring in Jadeveon Clowney. He can be our left end for this year alone. Probably not going to be our long-term starter at the position, but he can come in and play a little bit. Melvin Ingram, Rashawn Evans, and Alexander Johnson are here. Kyle Van Noy. 
Jason Pierre Paul is also here. Corner, got some decent corners here as well. Three safeties, strong safeties, nothing too incredible. Kickers and punters and all that. But we're gonna look to get to the preseason bye week. I gotta cut one player. I'll do that by myself. Um, sorry, I was rudely interrupted <laughs> mid talking there. Uh, Anyway, I don't remember where I was at. Yeah, I'll cut this one player by myself. I'll go and set the depth charts, put up some uh, some players in the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, trade block. There we go. And I will see you guys at the preseason by week. Alright, so we have to cut 22 different players. We're probably going to end up using the same draft class that I used last time, even though it's not 100% correct. But it does have some of the bigger names in there. I'm going to cut Bendanichi. So we will we'll use that one, and next time when the season starts, I'm hoping to, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Get a better practice squad. Little Jordan Humphrey's gonna get cut. Montreal Washington's moving to the practice squad. Kendall Hinton. Do we really have already? Oh, we do already have six receivers. Huh? Marvin Mims is a hidden dev trait too. I can cut Tim Patrick at 500k in cap space. What happens if I does it say I'll, I'll get cap space from Cotton Wilson? Plus eight million for this year only though. That's what that's the only thing it said. That's the only thing it's not telling you. We're gonna cut Kendall Hinton. And that is going to be our receivers. I have KJ Hamler on the trade block, but I don't know if he's gonna get traded or not. Alberto, I'm sorry. I kind of don't want to cut you. I kind of want to cut Chris Manhurts over you. I'm gonna cut Chris Manhurts. Sorry, Chris Manhurts, but I would rather have a young guy than have Chris Manhurts. Sorry. Uh, all this is good. Center Kyle Fuller can get cut. Right guard is good. Right tackle Quinn Bailey can move to the practice squad. Left end Elijah Garcia practice squad. Awazarike practice squad. Matt Henningsen practice squad. Right end, Jonathan Harris, Zach Allen. That's good. Defensive tackle. We're good there. Left outside linebacker. Aaron Patrick, he's going to get cut. Thomas Income, practice squad. Middle linebacker, Justin Chernod, he's going to get cut. Everyone else here is good. Right outside linebacker, Nick Benito. As much as I'd like to keep him, he's going to get moved to the practice squad. I'm sure he's going to get signed by somebody else, but that's okay. Delonte Hood. Practice squad, Fayon Hicks, practice squad, Asong Basie, cut, Tremon Smith is alright to stay. Other than that, that's alright. Free safety is good, strong safety, Delirian Turner at Yell, practice squad, JL Skinner's gonna get cut. Why can't I move him to the practice squad? I don't know. Oh, there's our safety's kicker, Elliot Fry, he's gonna get cut. And that's gonna be our team. There we go. I'm assuming Nick Benito will end up getting signed by somebody by uh, week one here, but so we're gonna find out in about a couple minutes once we get here to week one. Yep, Nick Benito is signed. Ram signed him. Hm. We're gonna set our season goal. Uh, not a very good season last year. Pretty awful season at all entirely. We're gonna go. We're gonna look for seven wins this year. Might happen. Might not happen. Who knows? But we will find out. Draft class. I'm gonna import a local file from the one of the draft classes that I have downloaded. I believe it's this one. It's the one that I have. I don't know. A way of knowing is where is he? Left outside linebacker. Is this the right one? I'm gonna say there should be. A really good outside linebacker that what's his name John Cohen I think he was the one we drafted last time is he in this group maybe he's not okay maybe he's not okay so this is the wrong one I have to <laughs> I have to switch ones real quick and for the local file must be this one then must have had the wrong one Yes, this is the right one. 
Uh, yeah, that's this isn't going to stay. This is just going to be our one for probably the Broncos rebuild and the next rebuild. And after that, I looked and going to look to find a better draft class. So we're not going to need any any new scouts. I know all the I know most of the things for this one because I went in there and edited it. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you expect. Uh, other than that, I suppose we can send to the midseason mark, and I can see you guys there. Okay, so we are at the midseason mark. Uh, we're two and five, kind of what I expected. Didn't think we'd be too good this year. Uh, Kool Aid McKinstry is who they're projecting us. I wouldn't mind getting a good corner like Kool Aid McKinstry or something. That one definitely wouldn't be bad. Uh, so, as we find out once I look at the re signed players here, because I'm not sure who exactly I need to re sign, but we'll find out here in a second. Players ready to negotiate. Hopefully, no one too amazingly good. KJ Hamler. He doesn't play. <laughs> I'm not going to re-sign him. Josie Jewell, I'm probably not going to re-sign. I can't re-sign anybody, actually. Marquez Callaway, I wouldn't re-sign anyway. Lloyd like Cushenberry, I would like to re-sign, but I don't got any cap space going into next year. Adam Trotman, I don't have. Jonas Griffiths, honestly, can be let go. Albert O can be let go. Tyler Batty, honestly. Devion Clowney, I wasn't looking to bring back. Frank Clark, I wasn't looking to bring back. Kwan Williams, I wasn't looking to bring back. <laughs> Mike Purcell or Kareem Jackson, I wasn't looking to bring back. Michael Burton, Brett Maher, and Patrick Sertain's got his thing. I wasn't honestly looking to bring anybody back here, so maybe besides Lloyd Cushenberry to be my center. We'll see what happens at the end of the season if I can I have any cap space to. If I can find a way to manage up some scrap, some cap space to fix this. So do we have a trade off for KJ Hamler? Who I'm willing to just honestly trade. <laughs> I don't need him. Isaac Yidem. Don't need him. Logan Bruss. Don't need him. Keontae Ingram. Nobody of any value at all for a 75 overall receiver who's 24, which is quite sad. Uh, but yeah, since I'm not looking to do anything, I'm just going to sim to the playoffs and I will <laughs> see you guys there, I guess. All right, so we finished six and eleven, not very good at all. Seventeen hundred yards for Josh Jacobs. Holy cow, these running backs are going crazy. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes had five thousand yards. Look at that. The rest of the people, Dak forty three hundred, Kirk Cousins forty three hundred. Jesus, Patrick Mahomes went above and beyond. Holy twenty five sacks for Aaron Donald. Bro broke the record. What a year. Holy shit. Uh, too bad none of those players have anything that I have. That looks is nothing. Russell Wilson looks like he sucked. 25 touchdowns, 14 picks, 3,500 yards. Not good at all. Javante Williams, 1,172 yards and two touchdowns. Solid year. Samaj Perian had 396 yards and 10 touchdowns. Jerry Judy with 896 yards and four touchdowns. Greg Dulcich with 792 yards and nine touchdowns. Tim Patrick with 770 yards and eight touchdowns. Cortland Sutton, 757 yards and two touchdowns. Huh. Not a very good year. A pretty solid year for our offensive line, honestly. In all, in all honest, Ben Powers didn't let up a single sack in 1,097 downs played. Cameron Fleming didn't let up any sacks. Garrett Bowles only let up one. That's amazing for a left tackle. Josie Jewell, 118 tackles. Uh, Randy Gregory had 10 sacks, so which is solid. Javion Clowney with six sacks. Zach Allen with five. Frank Clark with three. DJ Jones and Josie Jewell with two. Alex Singleton, Mike Purcell, Justin Simmons, and P.J. Locke with half a sack. Patrick Sertain had four picks. Jesse Jewell with two. Alex Singleton, Demario Mathis, and Riley Moss with one. Brett Maher with 18 for 18 and field goals. So that's a really good year for the kicker. Too bad we can't bring him back. Uh, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to send him to the Super Bowl, and we'll see where we're at. Young has led the Carolina Panthers to the Super Bowl against the Chiefs. That is crazy, Bryce Young, uh, the rookie. I think he's actually, I think they gave him a superstar. <laughs> I do want to believe they gave him a superstar. But offensive player, or sorry, MVP went to Joe Burrow. And now it goes to Joe Burrow and not in our last fucking thing. Some bullshit. Uh, 
AFC Offensive Player of the Year. We probably have nobody. Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, we did have Randy Gregory down here. Nice. Uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Not nobody. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Riley Moss is here at number eight. Solid. Best quarterback. Russell Wilson's at 10. <laughs> Best running back. We got nobody. Best wide receiver. Nobody. Best O line. Ben Powers is at number five, which is good. He didn't let up a single sack. Best D-line, nobody best linebacker, Randy Gregory at number six. Best defensive back, Patrick Sertain at number nine. Best kicker, Brett Maher at number one. Hey, Brett Maher, solid org. Unfortunately, I can't sign you back. Otherwise, I definitely would. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um, I wonder, I don't want to look at the depth chart. I want to look at a just lineup. I wanted to see if it showed me the other players' hidden dev traits. Maybe. If I can ever get there is how long this game takes to load everything that it does. I just want to see. So, Russ Wilson, Javante, Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick, Cortland Sutton, all stars. Garrett Bowles, Quinn Miners, Michael Glenshee, not a star. Ben Powers deserves a star after that performance. I might honestly give it to him. Greg Dulcich has superstar. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Justin Simmons was superstar. Patrick Tertain was superstar. X Factor. Josie Jewell was star. Drew Sanders probably has star. Randy Gregory was star. Uh, Zach Allen was star. Damari Mathis has star. Solid. Okay. Special teams. Did they give, they gave Brett Maher star after being the best kicker in the NFL. Solid work. Baron Browning is actually a star. He's going to start. He's going to be starting next year. Uh, I don't even know why. I should have just started them this year. I don't even know why I didn't. I should have just honestly released Frank Clark. But that's whatever. He's not going to be back next year anyway. So nice to see uh, Quinn Miners. Not Quinn Miners, sorry. Nice to see uh, Greg Dulcich get superstar. Let's see who wins the Super Bowl between the Panthers and the Chiefs. As the Panthers win, I will go crazy. I don't think they will. I think it's going to be the Chiefs. The Chiefs did win. Makes sense. Rookie is at one in the Super Bowl. I have negative 8 million, even though it said I was going to have negative 2 million. So where the fuck that other negative 6 million came from? Honestly, who the fuck knows? This game is so dumb with that shit. Six-time AFC champs for the Chiefs. Three-time NFC champs for the Panthers. Four-time Super Bowl champs for the Chiefs. Super Bowl MVP was Patrick Mahomes. Another Super Bowl for the Kansas City Chiefs. No surprise there. Uh, what happened to six million of our money? Nobody will ever know. I mean, no way it was all these players that that were signed. I, I don't know, man. I'll probably go and try and clear up some cap space. I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear up enough cap space to re-sign Lloyd Cushingberry. Which sucks. Do we have anyone to retire? Probably not. I never do. Realize we might have some money that I actually freed up. Oh, where are we? AFC West? Kareem Jackson retired. Okay, well. He wasn't going to be on the team next year anyway, so. Happy to see he can retire a Bronco. We'll advance the week to re-sign players here. I don't believe there's a single person we're going to be able to re-sign, but we can certainly try. Uh, I mean, Russell Wilson is just eating away all of our money. I do actually want to take a look at Russell Wilson's contract. But I'm going to go and clear some cap space, and I'll see if I can actually get any money, or be above even here. Alright, so I restructured a few contracts, which might cause me more pain down the line, but it'll bring allow me to bring in some more players at this current moment. But we, I was able to get out of the millions, so negative 8 million, and get us into 14 million. I'm also debating about a certain thing that I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to do it in offseason free agency week one. And that revol revolves around a certain wide receiver that isn't going to get better. He's just going to end up getting worse. So, and it's not KJ Hamler. KJ Hamler, I'm not actually bringing back. Neither am I bringing back Josie Jewell. Lloyd Cushenbury, I do want to bring back. So if he would be so kind, I us to sign that contract. He's back. Okay, Lloyd Cushenberry was someone that I wanted back, and I got back. So everyone else here, I don't see anybody I want to seriously bring back. Uh, maybe I want to bring back Brett Maher. He's 34. I don't. 
So we're gonna advance. Lloyd Cushenberry was the only person I wanted to bring back. We're gonna advance. I restructured whose contract? I restructured Russell Wilson's contract, and then I restructured. I think it was Cortland Sutton's contract. And I should have restructured a different lineman's contract. I didn't think of that. I didn't know I could only restructure two contracts, but that's okay. We're gonna advance the week. Let all those players go. We're going to release Tim Patrick. It could save me. Listen here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Go to NFL roster. I'm going to recover a penalty of $2 million, but it would save me $8 million. So here we go. Tim Patrick. He's... We release him. See, so it'll show you. We'll free up $9.9 .9 million. We'll incur a penalty of $3.07 million. So we'll have about $5 million to deal with. So that's what's going to happen. Actually... Hold on. No. What if I try and trade him? Anybody want Tim Patrick? Good offers. Roshan Johnson? And a 2026 sixth round for him. Levi Anzarike, a 2024 fifth and a 2025 seventh. That might be a decent trade to think about. Kobe Bryant, a 2024 sixth. Dylan Horton, no. Kyle Phillips. So Kobe Bryant, Levi Anzarike, or Roshan Johnson. I don't think a running back is who I need to worry about. I do need D-Tackle, and I do need Corner. Ugh. Clay Bryant's younger. D-Tackle. I can get a 5th and a 7th. A 5th this year, a 7th next year. If I can get a 6th next year. Levi Anzarike I'd have for maybe a couple years. Kobe Bryant's here. You know, I'm going to go Kobe Bryant. Patriots can have Tim Patrick. And that freed up a couple more million in the cap space. And I'm going to have Marvin Mims starting now because that's who I originally wanted to start. I wanted to trade Tim Patrick earlier on, but I didn't know the long-term effects of it. So I've decided to not do that. But now we have a good group of young corners here, which is solid. Yeah, so and Patrick Sertain is someone we're going to have to re-sign, not next year, but in another year to come. So... That is something we're going to worry about later. We have $16 million in in cap space now. I did want to look here real quick. I did want to look at the roster real quick and see what is needed at each position. I moved Caden Stern to strong safety, so now I have a decent strong safety there. Quarterback is going to be needed, and I'm looking probably going to look to draft a quarterback next year, in all honesty with you guys. <laughs> Because Russell Wilson ain't going to be good by next year. I could probably even draft one this year if I want to do. Probably won't happen yet. So I don't need wide receiver. I do need a backup tight end, which I can get in the draft. I don't think I need any offensive line. I think we're good at offensive line for now. Yes, we are. I do need a left end. I don't think I really want to go corner in the draft. I do need a defensive tackle. Middle linebacker, I think I'm going to keep... I like how that is set up. Baron Browning's okay at outside linebacker for me. Corner's decent. So I think everything's kind of working out. We need a kicker. I want to look at defensive ends. I want to look at defensive tackles. I don't know how... I think I remember how good the... I don't know. We'll figure out where we're at. I I don't really know, man. I'm <laughs> I don't really know. I'm just going by the seat of my ass here, man seat of my ass i don't know what the fuck that was even supposed to mean but i said it baker mayfield's here sam darnold jacoby Brissett, nobody that i want austin eckler's here devin singletary's here aj dillon's here okay james robinson clyde edwards alaire gus edwards okay interesting fullback is in need but i think i can draft one I think there's some good fullbacks in the draft like that kyle wallace guy i got last time uh wide receiver Interesting group. Nobody wants to come over here, though. And it's not anybody that I really truly want. And I really like my wide receivers. Hunter Henry's here at tight end. Is there anybody? Kobe Parkinson's here. Maybe I'll debate about drafting or taking Kobe Parkinson to be a backup tight end. I don't need offensive line. Though there are some interesting prospects here. Uh, Ogbania Okoronkwo. 79, but he's 29, over, 29 years old. There's Mike Dana, but he's 26. He's got the teams interested in. What about defensive tackle? Michael Pierce is here. I didn't really want to sign anybody too old. 
Javon Kinlaw is here. He's 26. He's got no teams interested, though. Marlon Davidson's also 26. Tim Settles has got some interest. He's 27. Tristan Hill's got some interest. He's 26. Christian Wilkins is here. He's 28, though. But he's got interest. Anathan Gonkwe's got interest. Morgan Fox has got interest. Jonathan Grenard. Jacob Martin. Derek Barnett. Josh Allen is here. He's got a ton of interest. To just fucking go and take Josh Allen. Bobby Wagner. Nobody I want a middle linebacker. Denzel Perryman's here at outside linebacker. E2 Gross Matos. Corner. Yeah. Free safety. Solid group there. Strong safety. Christian Wilkins, man. That'd be an interesting one. Then we could focus on getting a D tackle in the draft. Can we bring in Christian Wilkins? We cannot. We can't even afford him. Never mind. Uh, Okoronko, I don't really want. Is there a young? There was a young. Should I just bring in Tim Settle or Tristan Hill? To be a backup defensive tackle? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll bring in Tristan Hill to be a backup defensive tackle for a year. And then we'll look into focusing our other stuff elsewhere. I do need a kicker. Uh, Riley Patterson's here. He's 24. He doesn't have any interest in wanting to come over. Rodrigo Blankenship has some interest. Craig's Airlines got some interest. Cario Santos has got some interest. Nobody young has any interest. People that I can bring in for a while. But we do have Kami Fairburn, who's a uh, 80, 80 overall. That we could bring in for a year if we wanted to. Will Lutz is here as well. Riley Patterson, though. I do want to try and make an offer for him. He's got decent interest to come in and do that. So, I think that's what I'm going to go with here. These are the two guys I'm going to target. Tristan Hill did not resign, but Riley Patterson signed. Tristan Hill has still not signed. <laughs> okay. Uh... We'll advance the week here and try and get Tristan Hill to come in and be a backup defensive tackle just to have a good 70 overall backup, you know, because, you know, why not? We'll look at defensive end in the draft. Hopefully there's a good defensive end we can take. Uh, mock draft four. I actually want to look at mock draft four. And I think it's Anthony Winston who's pretty good. Who's one of the better left ends? Who isn't Dalton Caldwell is the one being taken here, but I don't think he's the best one. Is this guy even going in the top few? Anthony Winston doesn't go to a 22. I think that's who I'm looking at drafting. Or that's who I would want. I don't know if he's real. I don't think he is. Probably isn't. But uh, that's who I'm looking at. I know Kool Aid McKinstry is who, were, who they were projecting me. Sign free agents. Let's try and get Tristan Hill over here. Tristan Hill did sign. Okay, so we got Tristan Hill and we got Riley Patterson in here for a couple years. Now, Tristan Hill's only here for a year. But I think that works for me. Not the Trade Center. I went to the Trade Center. That's not what I wanted to do. Ugh. I have a 39 roster size. Damn. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to look at my roster here real quick. And I should look also. Um, don't think I'm in position to draft a quarterback this year, but I might be next year. Probably won't be next year either. Left end is what we need. Right end is good. Defensive tackle. I think we're good there now. I think we're good kind of everywhere else for now. I think I'm okay everywhere else for this next season. I'm going to sim to the free agency recap, and I will see you guys over there. All right, so we're at the free agency recap. Mock draft number five. I do want to see, hopefully, Drake May goes there. They're projecting me Caleb Williams. Oh, man. Dude, this is... Uh, hard to pass up, man. I feel like I should go Caleb Williams. I know, I know I need a left end. Anthony Winston is right there. 
I could easily trade back and get him. But I mean, come on, man. Caleb Williams is right here. I think that's who I go. If Caleb Williams is going to drop to me, that's who I'm going to take. Don't be angry. Just be happy. If Caleb Williams is dropping to me, that is who I am taking. All right. We don't know what's going to happen this year with the Broncos. We don't know if they continue with Russell Wilson. I mean, you never know. Uh, they probably will. They're probably going to be forced to because this contract is absurd. Uh, but, you know, I might just go with what's going to make me happy here. <laughs> uh, Austin Eckler's a Viking. Devin Singletary's a Lion. Mike Williams is a Viking. Amari Cooper's a Ram. Gabe Davis is a Titan. Odell's a Falcon. Donovan Peoples Jones is a Bear. Hunter Henry's a Lion. Gerald Everett's a Commander. Kevin Dotson's a 49er. Mitch Morris is a Texan. John Runyon's a Raven. Terrence Steele's an Eagle. Devion Connie's a Titan. Michael Pierce is a Chief. Christian Wilkins is a Lion. Calais Campbell's a Jaguar once again. Josh Allen is a Bear. Frankie Louvu is a Falcon. Bobby Wagner's a Texan. Josie Jewell's an Eagle. Denzel Perryman's an Eagle. Marcus Peters is a Cardinal. Michael Davis is a Ram. Adrian Amos is a Lion. J. Ron Curse is a Viking. Grant Delpit's a Falcon, Jordan Whitehead didn't get signed. <laughs> Kami Fairburn didn't get signed. Chris Boswell got signed. The Jet again. Mitch Wisnowski's a Falcon. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we're going Caleb Williams. I don't even care. Also, I did want to look here at stats and awards. And I wanted to look and see the team stats here. So, the best offense in the game this year was the Chiefs. Who scored the most points per game? The Vikings scored the most points per game. They're 13 and 4. I wonder if the Vikings offense is any good. Who had the most yards? It was the Chiefs. But the most points per game was the Vikings. I'm kind of interested in trying the Vikings. Honestly, I am. Defense. Panthers had the best defense. What about points allowed? Patriots allowed the least amount of points. Hmm. Vikings or Chiefs offense is what I might go with. Panthers or Patriots defense is something we could try. For sure. Manage task staff. Yeah. Go to team schemes. What are the Chiefs? What are the Vikings run? I mean, go up here. They want a West Coast zone run. Would that work for my? That's one too far. West Coast zone run. 73% scheme fit, so I think that could work. Let's go Minnesota playbook. I want to try the Minnesota playbook and see how that works. And it's going to Kevin O'Connell. And then I wanted to see... What's the Patriots defense? They run, they run a 3-4 under. We want a 3-4 storm, so it's probably not going to be too different from what we got. What about the... Panthers. That's the Packers. Panthers run a base 4-3. That's not. I don't want to run a 4-3. I want to keep it at a 3-4. Because of just the people that we got at these positions. So I think I'm going to go 3-4 under. And we're going to try New England. And see if this does anything for us in terms of being better. I just want to try some... This is all about experimenting with the playbooks now. <laughs> really what it's all about. Private workouts don't need to worry about. Let's head to the 2024 NFL Draft. We're probably going to end up taking Caleb Williams right away. We'll see where we're at come the second round. I honestly kind of wish I was going to left end because then I could trade back and possibly get another first rounder going into next year. And now, but... Uh, let's just let's just kind of move forward here. Ol Olufushanu went there. Drake May did go to the Commanders, so I can't be too mad. No one, I don't think the Texans will take Caleb Williams. I don't think the Cardinals would take quarterback. So yeah, we're gonna have we don't have a second round pick. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do about that. Caleb Williams, he's gonna be our starting quarterback going forward. There we go. Hidden dev trait. Look at all them things. That's what I like to see. Caleb Williams is a Denver Bronco. 
Nice. Okay. We're just going to skip ahead to the next user pick. And we're going to see what's the available. Probably not much. It might just end up going to be depth pickups. I don't think there's going to be any... Any, uh... Defensive ends available for me to take. Nobody that's good. Right end. And nobody that's good. Unfortunate. You guys know we always got our guy. Whoa. John Cullen was taken. Never mind. We don't got our guy, John Cullen. I don't know anybody else that's really good. Do we have any wide receivers that are pretty decent? Uh. Where is Cersei? I feel like I remember him. Stephen Burnett. Guy that was good. I can't remember. I don't think so. I think most of the good players have been taken. I think it's just straight up. You guys know the, the rules here. I'm gonna take Jason Mackey. Three to four. The clock now. It's the it's even a good Dolphins. tight end. I don't know. There was a lot of good tight ends in this class. I don't know who was good and who wasn't. <laughs> I'm to be straight honest with you. Uh, but. We're going to probably try and take a defensive end in free agency. Hopefully there's some good ones still available in free agency. All right, so I simmed all the way to the end here. Well, I picked up, uh, you guys know who I picked up. I picked up some random fuckers. Uh, team isn't really full. Kind of sucks. Uh, we did get quarterback Caleb Williams, who's a 78 overall. Jason Mackey, who's a 67. And we picked up a bunch of other Dallas pickups to fill up some spots that were needed. Um, other than that, Marvin Harrison was the best player in the draft. Olu Fashani is also there. Uh, Caleb Williams and Kool-Aid McKinstry, all 78. Drake May at 77. John Cohen went to the Seahawks at pick number 7, so he just barely missed him in round 3. That's whatever. Unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, so, let's advance a week. We're at negative 2 million. Kind of sucks because I kind of needed a, a good defensive end. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know. Yeah, uh, this is rough. Um, look at free agents here. I didn't want to sign a good defensive end. If there is any good defensive ends available. Danico Autry is here. Leonard Floyd. And Morgan Fox. If I could bring in Danico Autry, that'd be nice. I don't know if I have the money to do that. I do. Okay, so I brought in Danico Autry for a year, 78 overall. That'll work. I don't think I can. I don't think I have the money to sign anybody else. If I do, we'll figure out the preseason bye week. But we don't have enough. We don't really have a team. We have 48 players on the team, I guess. You know, it works. It's just something we're gonna have to live with. Caleb Williams, our quarterback. Russell Wilson will be behind him. And if I could get rid of Russell Wilson, that'd be amazing. But I cannot. Jared sitting behind that. Javante Williams and Samaj Piran at running back. We have no fullback. Wide receivers, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims Jr., Jalen Virgil, and Brandon Johnson. Tight end, Greg Dulcich and Jason Mackey. Left tackle, Garrett Bowles, Jonathan Bradshaw. Left guard, Ben Powers, Luke Jackson. Center, Lloyd Cushenberry III and Alex Forsyth. Right guard, Quinn, Quinn Miners and Luke Wattenberg. Right tackle, Mike McGlinchey and Quinn Bailey. Left end, Danico Autry, Matt Henningsen. That's who I'm actually, I'm going to move him because I need more depth at right end. So I'm actually going to move him over to right end right now. So we can have a backup right end. And then I'm going to release Elijah Garcia. Just to clear up some cap space. <laughs> I don't need all those left ends. We have, we have Zach Allen and Matt Henningsen at right end. Defensive tackle, we got DJ Jones, Tristan Hill, and Justin Smith. Left at side linebacker, Randy Gregory and Jonathan Cooper. Middle linebacker, Alex Singleton, Drew Sanders, and Trenton Logan. Right outside linebacker, we got Baron Browning and Carl Nickerson. Corner, Patrick Sertain the second, Kobe Bryant, Demari Mattis, Riley Moss, Fayon Hicks, and Delonte Hood. Free safety, Justin Simmons. Strong safety, Caden Stearns and Alton Denard. Kicker, Riley Patterson, and punter, Riley Dixon. So I'm going to see if there's any positions I can fill. I can release Jarrett Stidham. <laughs> they don't need him on the team. I can free up about three million in cap space. So works for me. I need two backup running backs. I need a fullback. I need a backup wide receiver. I need a backup tight end. I think that's all I need on offense. Is all of that. But you guys saw the team. I'm gonna sign some depth guys. Set the depth chart. 
and I will see you guys at the preseason bye week. So we're at the preseason bye week. I went and signed a lot of players and ones I will go through right about now here. Uh, obviously our quarterbacks are the same, Wilson and Caleb Williams. Halfbacks are all the same. Fullbacks, well actually halfbacks aren't the same. I signed uh, one of these guys, I don't remember which one. It's. I recorded the rest of this this morning. I signed Keith and Carter. I was able to sign quite a few guys for having as little money as I did, but it turns out I had a lot more money than I thought. But I think I signed Damian Carruthers. Tight ends, I was able to get Jared Gallagher. And we got our left tackles, our left guards. I never signed an O-lineman, so these guys are all still the same. Left end... Didn't sign anybody there. I did sign Danico Autry beforehand, but that's about it. I got uh, Justin Smith, who was another guy that I got. Outside linebackers, the middle linebackers, I think I got Shane Peralta. I think I drafted Trenton Logan. Right outside linebacker, got Carl Nickerson, but I'm pretty sure I drafted him. Delonte Hood, I'm moving to the practice squad, but I also got uh, Joshua Coakley there as well. But we're going to move uh, Delonte Hood to the practice squad. And we are going to sim to week one against the Steelers. We went two and one in the preseason. So pretty solid start for the year here. I mean, the preseason doesn't mean much, but last time we won a Super Bowl, we went three and zero in the preseason. So you never really know, man. <laughs> Set season goal. Season goal. I mean, I think it's going to be seven wins. I think we got six wins last time. I can't remember if it was six wins or seven wins, but I think we got six wins, which wasn't our key. We're going to keep auto-generated rookies. I think we're looking at defensive end here for... There's not a single... Oh, there's Geo Graham and Lionel Kennedy. Kennedy, sorry. That are the top defensive ends in this class. Or projected, I should say. Doesn't mean they are. Um, I'm going to upgrade the players here real quick. See who we got upgrades for. Alex Forsyth. Let's see if you can handle that. Um... But let's go through, manage roster, re-sign players, and see who we have to bring back this year and how much money we're going to have to do it. We got 46 mil, Justin Simmons and Jerry G are both people I want back. Javante Williams is also somebody I want back. I mean, he's only 24. Quinn Miners I also want back. Baron Browning I'd also like back, but if I can't get him back, I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Samaj so Pirine I'm going to let go. Caden Stearns. Another person I'd like back, but it might be someone I have to let go. Garrett Bowles, another person I want back, might have to let go. Jonathan Cooper can be let go. DJ Jones. Fuck. <laughs> uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of luck with this. Danico Autry going to go. Riley Patterson, he's just a kicker. I can always get another one. Riley Dixon's also just a pop, he's 31, so I'm letting him go anyway. We're going to have a lot of work to do. <laughs> we really, really are. Um, fuck, you know, I don't really know what to do here. I mean, I don't need to focus on wide receiver. I still got two other good wide receivers, and I should be able to bring Jerry Judy back. Should be able to bring Justin Simmons back, so safety shouldn't be a worry. Halfback, I feel like Javante isn't going to be too expensive, so I feel like we'll be able to get him back, but I have a feeling, like, there's going to be a fear. I might have to do some cap room management at the end of the season again hopefully we can get quinn miners back if we don't get baron browning back it is not the end of the world uh, unfortunately jonathan cooper's also gonna go but uh i think i'm still gonna look for defensive end because we got to get younger at defensive end uh so that's what i am going to do that's what i'm going to focus with but i have a lot of positions that could probably need to be filled just in case i can't bring players back so let's hit the region breakdown real quick so national Wide receiver, corner, right outside linebacker. I'm going to focus on defensive end. In the West, wide receiver, quarterback, left end. So the West is going to have a defensive end scout. Strength, wide receiver, right outside linebacker, and left tackle. So I'm going to focus on right outside linebacker with central. Northeast, I'm going to focus on left outside linebacker. And southeast, I'm going to focus on outside linebacker as well. So we got a lot of guys that I can put it outside. So I'll need a one star, three star, and two star defensive ends. So I already have that. I got two-star defensive ends, so I'll keep you. But I need a bunch of outside backers and a three-star defensive end. 
So, three star defensive end. That's fucking not what I meant to do. Uh, three star defensive end. Here we go. I think that's that was a three star, right? Yep. Three star defensive end, and now I need a bunch of one star outside linebackers. And we'll be good there. Safety also is a good help there. So another outside linebacker guy? Yes, there is. Outside linebacker and defensive end. So that works in our favor. Manage scouts. You will be national, obviously, and the rest of you guys can go wherever the heck y'all need to go. Oh. Well, you need to be in the west, so that's okay, I think. I think that's how that worked. Yes, that is. Okay, so outside linebacker is also a strength of national. But we'll have to set our things. Well, I set them at week three. I don't do that on camera. But there. Uh, this is going to be a tough year in terms of bringing people back. But we're going to see what happens. I'm going to simulate to the midseason mark, and I'll see you guys there. Okay, well, even with the changes, we fucking suck. We suck on offense. Our offense is... Minnesota's. I mean... Huh? Minnesota's offense is doing so well. Why the fuck does it all of a sudden suck? Dude, the playbooks are so inconsistent in this game. I wish the game didn't run off playbooks. EA will never be a never be great with their shit until they can fucking fix that shit. Look at that, the Vikings are number four in offense. Points per game. Where are the Vikings? Number five. Where are the Broncos? Sixteen point seven with the Vikings offense. Please, somebody, for God loving fucking sakes, tell me how that works. I need to fucking know. The Bears have the best offense for total offensive yards. Dude, I don't know. Our defense is better, I believe. I think we're ha like mid. or mid. Patriots defense is mid. And we're number 13 in defensive points per game. So honestly, not too bad. The defense is not doing a terrible job. The offense just fucking blows for some fucking reason, even though the Vikings are fucking good. Is it just... Someone please tell me how this makes any kind of lick of fucking sense. We're number 13 in defensive ranks. Offensive ranks number 32. 32 in passing touchdowns. Number 12 in rushing touchdowns. 20 in giveaways. 32 in third down percentage. God, for the love of God, how does any of this make sense? Especially because the game is playbook based. I'm not going to change anything just yet. Justin Simmons. Let's bring you back. This is a guy, okay, Justin Simmons is back. Okay, that actually was a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Javante, whoa, 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 Jerry Judy, he has no more re-sign interest. Do you want Super Bowl? Ah, fuck. Jerry Judy's back. I had to pay him a lot of money. You know I had to have him back. I mean, Javante, I don't really want to pay you that kind of money as a running back. I mean, it's not terrible money. Can you take that? Yeah, I don't know if I even want you on the team if you're going to ask for that type of shit. Quinn Miners should be able to get back with this. Quinn Miners is back. Solid. Baron Browning I'd like back. He's got no re-sign interest. But he, there's nothing we can do to fix that big market, you know. Samaj P. Ryan I don't want back. Caden Stearns has no re-sign interest. Garrett Bowles has re-sign interest. But I can't afford him. Might have to let Garrett Bowles go because this game is awful. Not really. It's just... Uh, we just suck. I mean, I don't know what to say. Scouting national focus. Choose focus. Their national focus position. My god, dude. I mean, I really don't know what to do. I mean, this isn't fair. <laughs> Should I switch offenses? Let me try to make an offense that's better. I'll keep New England's for now. Let me, fit it, let me try doing the thing where I'll put it on an offense that fits more of my scheme. My problem is not every, you know, every team runs every scheme. But, so, 96% in the sky is 3-4. And base 3-4 is a 96. So I know people, I know there's a lot of defenses that run a base 3-4 defense. Let me take a look. 
So who runs a base 3-4? The Buccaneers run a base 3-4. Chargers run a base 3-4. I think that's what we want, too, at 3-4. Dolphins run a base 3-4. Who's good, though? Jaguars on a base 3-4. I think the Jaguars were up there. Maybe I should try the Jaguars. Packers on a base 3-4. Raiders on a base 3-4. Raiders have a good one. Let me try the Raiders defense. Wait. Why am I... No. I want to do offense. Alright, let's actually... Ah. Let's actually move... Let's actually move that back. The Patriots are doing Patriots defense isn't that bad. 3-4 under. We'll run a 3-4 under for this year. We'll change it if I need to. 3-4 under also isn't bad since it's an 88%. So honestly, that's probably why it's doing so good. What are we good at here? Spread. And yeah, the West Coast zone run. So then who runs a good spread or West Coast zone run? West Coast zone run for the Browns. They're running Minnesota's offense. West Coast zone run for the Buccaneers. West Coast zone run for the Cardinals. Chiefs on a West Coast spread. West Coast zone run for the Commanders and Cowboys and Dolphins and Falcons and Niners. Everyone wants a West Coast zone run. Packers on a West Coast zone run. Raiders on a West Coast. Rams run a West Coast. Well, Raiders actually are running Green Bay's offense. But West Coast zone run for the Rams. West Coast power run. That's not what I want. West Coast zone run for the Seahawks, who are running San Francisco's, actually. Uh, West Coast zone run for the Texans. West Coast zone run for the Titans. And West Coast zone run for the Vikings. So no one runs the spread. But who has a better West Coast zone run playbook, then? If that's the best fucking thing that we can do... That's fucking standing, Scott. I'm a fucking dumbass. <sighs> God, I hate this game. Why isn't it load faster? I'm playing a PlayStation 5. For fuck's sake, it doesn't make any sense. Well, okay, so if Minnesota's doesn't work, then who the fuck do I run? On offense, Raiders? Do they, they run a West Coast? They're running the Packers playbook. Let me try the Packers playbook. Maybe the Packers playbook will do, do us a better job. If it fixes us at least somewhat, I'll run with it next year. Let's try the Packers playbook since they're running good with the Raiders. What? The, that's not what the fuck I wanted. God damn it. This one takes even longer to get out of. Holy fuck, dude. This game is fucking awful. I mean, the load times are st There's no way you should be running this load times on a PS5. West Coast zone. Let's try Green Bay's. There we go. They want a West Coast zone run, right? West Coast zone run, base 3 4. Raiders, West Coast zone run, base 3 4. Okay. If it fixes us somewhat, we'll go with it. I'm going to simulate to week 10 and we'll go through the uh, draft class. Someone, for the love of God, please tell me why one player, one player on your team can get three picks in one game and you lose 13 to 10. That is fucking insane. You have to be the worst fucking team offense imaginable to lose 13 to 10 when one defensive player had three picks. That is insane. This game is unrealistic as fucking fuck, dude. It's unbelievable. Oh, at least our offense is doing a little bit better. <laughs> we really, really beat the Colts that one week, but that's, uh, what else do we want to bring back? What was it, uh, Javante Williams? Man, Javante, I don't know. Starting to like the offer, but I'm unsure the team gets me for the feature that I'm looking for. What are you looking for exactly? The fact that you can't win a Super Bowl, but you're 24 fucking years old, buddy? Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, Baron Browning. I, I want back, but I can't get back. Oh my god, dude. Garrett Bowles, I want back, but I can't get back. Why the fuck he's so expensive? I have no idea. Ay, 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 dude. Fucking A. Um, scout college players. Here we go with this shit.
Uh, I need to stop getting so annoyed by this shit. I mean, I, sh I should know what's going to happen. Ryan Griffin looks pretty good. Clay Serra, Cody Toon, Dwight Klein. Yeah, I don't care. Halfback, Vantrees McNeil, Juan Colbert, Shaden Shivers, Bobby Gale looks like fucking ass. But I don't know, I'm, I'm only looking at the, uh, whatever. Lyle Newkirk, Brandon Lucas look pretty decent. Austin Mitchell looks pretty decent. Everyone else, nothing phenomenal out of these, the rest of this group. Fullback, don't give two shits about. Rashad McGee is a top five player. Cameron Maynard, Josh Red, Eddie Crockett, Deion Perkins, Kevin Wiley, Eric Benedict, Maurice Broughton. Hmm, nothing else is good. Tight end, Devin Nixon, Paul Jones. Don't think we're looking at anything else that's good for the, them. Left tackle, Quinton Clark, Connor Curtis, both top five guys. Dalton Herbert, uh, Hebert, I guess. That's, I think that's how you say that. Colin Whitfield, Dan Hartwig, and yeah, nothing else. Left guard, Rod Foote, Tommy Little Bradford looks pretty good. Antonio Sharp. We have to draft like a guard or something and play him at... Uh, uh, center, Walt Weber, Nicholas Stratton, Pat Schaffer. Oh, he looks pretty decent. Hmm. Right guard, Aaron Meadows, Tony Hamilton. Uh, nobody else that's piquing my interest here. Right tackle, Caleb English, Kevin Hewitt. Left end, Geo Graham. Doesn't actually look that amazingly good. <laughs> Physicals are okay. Skills, B awareness, A power move, C block shed, C play rec, D finesse move, P, per B pursuit, B tackle. He's okay. Nothing incredibly good. Nothing else is good out of this group. Right end, Lionel Kennedy. He really good physicals b play rec d power move d stamina c tackle a finesse move okay okay pat quick b finesse move d block shed c play rec d power move b finesse pat quick doesn't look good at all defensive end might not be the go-to in this draft man there's nothing good at all Offensive tackle, Demarcus Barnett, Spencer Allen. Uh, let me look at tackles here. I might need to go a tackle. I'm going to focus on all the tackles here. That might be something I'm going to have to go for, this, considering I'm probably going to have a top five pick, so I might as well pick up on that. Left outside linebacker, Franklin Jones, Dennis Harvey, Johnny McAllister. A pursuit, A zone coverage, B tackle, D block shed, but he's a pass coverage guy. So honestly, not too bad. Physicals are actually quite good. Everything's good to great. Speed's great to elite. Strength is solid to good. Johnny McAllister looks pretty good. B tackle, A zone coverage, C play rec, A pursuit, A to B awareness, A to B man coverage. Man, actually, I'm liking Johnny McAllister. It could be a great guy for middle linebacker. Uh, move to middle linebacker considering our outside backers are more speed rusher type guys so yeah middle linebacker william mckenzie nothing else is too unbelievably good with these guys right outside linebacker carlos reese dominic holloman spencer ellerby maybe i should get these guys in here as well well the the rushers at least Speed rusher. I don't want you. You don't actually look that good. I'll put them in there and see if I can maybe pick out the good ones here. Speed rusher. Corner. George Carrington. Moses Ewing. George Carrington actually looks pretty damn good. Not somebody I'm looking to draft because it's not a position of need that I'm looking for, in all honesty with you. Uh, Lamar Hightower. Keon Davis. Orlando Crawford. Jonathan Charleston. Chris Rich doesn't look too bad, actually. Free safety, Alex Gallimore. Dakota Duggan. 
uh, strong safety Mike Bryant, Nick McLeod, Charles Meredith. Any good kickers of this class. Will Olson has a kick accuracy. What about kick power? Great to elite kick power. Will Olson. Okay. That's the kicker I'm drafting. <laughs> Eddie Bradley has a kick accuracy. I need a punter as well, so I'm going to look for that. Physicals, poor to marginal kick power. Sorry, Eddie Bradley. You ain't my guy. Trevor Sherman. Physicals. Decent to solid kick power. He could be a decent punter to have here. We'll add him to the list, see if there's any other better punter. Uh, doesn't look like it. I don't think anyone's going to have great to elite kick power. Um, I can look at the other kickers, but no, there's only one. I think we got a kicker that we can draft, though, so I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to simulate... Well, I can just simulate one week, and we'll do the uh, do the other thing here. I, got, I went into the fucking screen there. Advance a week past the Browns. We will focus, do our focus players, figure out who we want to go with there. Our defensive end should be all found out. Three and six. Now we beat the beat the Browns. So I didn't players ready to negotiate. We need to get back Javante Williams. I can probably finesse my way into some more money to bring back. Uh, Javante doesn't want back. Fuck you, Javante. I'm fucking going to bring him back. I might need to franchise tag him. <laughs> if I franchise tag him, I'm not going to have any money. He's a running back, though. So it's like, is it worth franchise tagging a running back? I don't want to let him go, though. Can this money then go to Garrett Bowles? I can't. I don't get enough money to bring back air pulls. We're going to leave everybody for later. I'll see if I can focus up and get some, uh, free up some cap space going into the next year. We'll see what happens. Other than that, let's do focus players. Choose focus players. And let's get... Let's take a look at what these defensive ends are first. Leo Graham is round one to two. Why the fuck don't I know the other two? For the love of God, please tell me why the fuck I don't know the other two. They don't even look that good. They just... Pat Quick looks awful. <laughs> and so does Lionel Kennedy. He doesn't look good at all. Finesse moves A, but everything else sucks. His finesse moves is D, but his power moves is A. And he's like, I'll figure out Lionel Kennedy, but I don't want to know Pat Quick. His finesse moves is B. His power moves suck. Maybe if I need to, I'll figure it out later. But man, what a mess. Fuck, uh, Caleb English, Kevin Hewitt, anybody else I should know here? Um, I need to get a tackle now. I need a fucking running back. Oh, this sucks, man. I'm interested to know Johnny McAllister. I need to realize that because the game fucked me over and I don't know what those other defensive ends are. Oh man, 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 man. Spencer Ellaby is the one I'm gonna do here. Because he looks to be the better one. Wish I could know Johnny McAllister. But I can't. You know what? I'll do him later. I'm gonna know. Spencer Ellerby. I want to know Johnny McAllister. I kind of want to know Dalton Hebert. A -A I want to know Dalton Hebert. That's what I'm going to do. Defensive ends we can figure out later. And we can look at their shit. They're 95%. Alright, let's simulate to the playoffs. Probably not going to be in them, but it's a little thing to hope. Well, our defense was great. Offense fucking sucked. I might try the Chargers offense next. I don't know what to do, dude. The, the, the playbooks, they say it's playbook based, but then I get good, I play the good playbooks and then fucking suck anyway, so I really don't know what to do. Caleb Williams is now going to be an 82 overall. That's pretty solid. I don't know why I'm doing this on camera. I'm going to do Caleb Williams. I'm going to skip the rest of them because I don't do the rest of them on camera. But also, Caleb Williams is a, is a superstar X Factor. Okay. 
Wow, all right, nice. Okay, well, I'm gonna simulate to the Super Bowl and I will see you guys there. So it's a Bengals Cowboys Super Bowl. Whatever, you know, it sucks. Good for them. Oh, maybe I should go with the Bengals playbook. The Bengals playbook. I don't know, man. This is just awful. Caleb Williams, 3,500 yards, 16 touchdowns, 9 picks. Fucking sucked. Not a good rookie season at all. Javante Williams had 1,100 yards and 12 touchdowns. Caleb Williams had 300 yards and 1 touchdown. Jerry Judy had 1,000 yards and 3 touchdowns. Marvin Mims, 875 yards and 4 touchdowns. Cortland Sutton, 847 yards and 6 touchdowns. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, man. Baron Browning had 12 and a half sacks. Okay, wow, what a good season for Baron Browning. Randy Gregory with eight sacks. Nico Autry with seven. Zach Allen with five. Drew Sanders with two and a half. Alex Singleton and DJ Jones with half a sack. Patrick Sertain had three picks in one game, but only had one other pick on the season. Makes a lot of sense. Alex Singleton and Cody Bryant with two picks. Drew Sanders, Damari Mathis, Caden Stearns, and Justin Simmons with one. Riley Patterson, 13 for 16 in field goals. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Let me, can I back out, please? There we go. So, mm -hmm. I'm debating about switching over to the Bengals offense, man. Bengals offense worked well for me, and the Patriots defense worked pretty solid. Number three in defensive points per game. Per, per game. But the Bengals offense has always kind of worked nice for me. If I can get Javante back, of course, which he might end up getting franchise tagged, which means I can't bring back anybody else if I do. MVP went to Jalen Hurts. Nobody in the other conversations there. AFC... Uh, offensive player of the year, nobody. Defensive player of the year, Baron Browning at number six, solid. Offensive rookie of the year went to a fucking wide receiver and not Caleb Williams, who was a goddamn quarterback. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of fucking bullshit, dude. Whatever. Defensive player of the year, nobody. Best quarterback, nobody. Best running back, nobody. Best wide receiver, nobody. Best aligned, nobody. Best D-line, nobody. Best linebacker, Baron Browning at number three. Randy Gregory at number six. Best defensive back, Patrick Sertain at number eight. Best kicker, Riley Patterson at eight. Solid. Oh, I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Bengals offense worked really well for me last time, but I guess that depends on the team. Dude, I don't fucking know. This is so dumb. I hate Madden and their fucking stupid ass playbook based shit. I lost three million. Wonder where that went. Uh, twenty twenty four season recap: Cowboys beat the Bengals in the Super Bowl, thirty six to thirteen. Four time AFC champs for the Bengals, nine time NFC champs for the Cowboys, six time Super Bowl champs for the Cowboys. Super Bowl MVP was Dak Prescott. Interesting. Upgrade players. Players we don't give two fucks about. You can get upgraded by the CPU. And now we advance the week to re-sign players, and we got players that are getting kicked off this fucking team. And contracts that are getting restructured. If I can restructure Patrick or Russell Wilson's contract again, that'd be amazing, but I don't think I can. I wish I could. I wish when you restructured contracts, you could honestly make them take pay cuts for if they fucking suck or not, which is something they should definitely add in the near future, because Rush should be taking significant pay cuts. Russell Wilson is a 71, 70 overall now. Restructures contract. Yep. Restructures contract again, man. Holy fuck. How much did that free up by just restructuring his contract? Probably not enough, but... I wonder, 29 million now. Okay, wow. Actually, I did not expect that to restructure that well. Uh, but I'm gonna go try and save us some other money somehow, some way. I will be right back. Was able to save me up some money. 36.3 million, in fact. Ah, uh, how much will it cost? 16.2 million. That'll take up half my money. I'm gonna try and let him go to free agency. I'm gonna see if I can sign any of these guys back. Baron Browning's back. Good. He had 12 and a half sacks. Don't want to let him go. Uh, Garrett Bowles, I would like back. He wants back. I shouldn't have to pay him any more money than this. Garrett Bowles is back for another, what, year or so? 
I'm with 18 million. I have a, probably a corner I can move back to strong safety. How much would it cost me to get you to get back? Only a little bit. You have no resign interest though, so let me up you by three. Okay, Caden Stern's interested in signing. How much would it cost a franchise tag you? 16.6 million, not gonna happen. And franchise tag Samaje, 16.2 million. Not Samaje, Devon Javante. That sucks. Uh, is there anyone else that I needed to bring back? Riley Patterson. I could bring Riley Patterson back for two years. Ah, uh, I'm gonna, actually I don't want to because there's a kicker and a punter that I can draft. I'm gonna go forward. I wanna bring Javante back. I think, you know, I think we can franchise tag Javante and be just fine. I think we can do that. We don't need to sign any free agents. We franchise Javante. We got 1.8 million in cap space. I'm not letting Javante go. Not at 24 years old when he's an 85 over, 86 overall running back. Not going to happen just yet. We'll advance the week to free agency. And we're going to move, I think, Damari Mathis back to safety. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me look at my roster here real quick. Roster. Um... We don't have any fullbacks, but that's okay. We can at least draft one. So now the offensive line should be good once again. Defensive end is what we're looking for in the draft. Fuck, we need defensive tackle as well. Uh, I don't know what's good for defensive tackle. That sucks, but we can always look around. Pairing Brown and we got back. Corner, we're good at... I think I could move Riley Brown. Did Kobe Bryant? Oh no, he's just down two. What's his thing? His thing is zone. What would Kobe Bryant be if I moved him to safety? Would he be any good? Because we gotta move somebody to safety now because we don't got a safety. I mean, so we can work with these guys at corner. Kobe Bryant would be. A 75, actually. So he's still uh, he's still just as good as he would be there. So I think I'm going to leave Kobe Bryant at safety. I think that's what I'm going to do. I need a kicker and a punter, but there's draft guys for that. Whew. Okay, well. Fuck, I don't need anybody else at certain positions now. Okay, well, I can look at the free agents, see what's there. Can't afford anybody, but we can see what's here. Um... Joe Burrow, no, the <laughs> Aaron Donald, oh, he would have been a great defensive end to bring in. Could not afford Joe Burrow, unfortunately. Joel Batonio, Hassan Reddick would have been amazing. We could have put him at, at, actually, no, we could have brought him in as an outside linebacker if we didn't bring back Baron Browning. Wyatt Teller, Tommy Townsend, David Njoku, Bobby Wagner, Zadaria Smith, Ryan Stonehouse, Justin Reed, Jabril Peppers. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. Uh... Nothing we can do. We're going to simulate to the free agency recap, and I will see you guys there. Alright, so we're at the free agency recap. My cat is fucking around with things over here. Uh, Lionel Kennedy is supposed to go number one overall, so he's not even somebody I'm going to worry about. Because I know I'm probably not going to be able to draft him. Geo Graham... I mean, he looks okay. Not saying he looks any better. Where's the other defensive end go? I don't know. I'm going to figure out both the defensive ends since I don't need tackle anymore. I do need defensive tackle, unfortunately, but... Uh, free agency recap. Let's take a look at who went where. Joe Burrow is still a free agent. Huh? <laughs> okay. Aaron Donald went to the Steelers. Joel Batonio went to the Bengals. Hassan Reddick went to the Jets. Wyatt Teller to the Titans, David Njoku to the Titans, Bobby Wagner didn't get signs, Darius Smith back to the Packers, Justin Reed went to the Raiders, Julian Love to the Colts, Jerome Baker to the Panthers, Deion Dawkins to the Titans. A lot of 80 overall players that didn't get signed. Jedrick Wills went to the Rams, Mike Hilton went to the Steelers, Shaq Thompson went to the Raiders, Michael Thomas went to the Panthers, Jonathan Jones went to the Steelers, Avante Maddox went to the Raiders. Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, private workouts. Well, I would never have an opportunity to sign Joe Burrow, though, because guess what? You don't get that opportunity. They, the AI gets the opportunity to sign those unsigned free agents first. Not fair, right? I know. That's, I've been saying that for many, many, many years. Um, well, let's figure out Lionel Kennedy. Let's figure out Pat Quick. And let's figure out... Johnny McAllister sucks. Never mind. We don't even need to know what he is. Spencer Ellerby actually sucks too. <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Um, well, there's nobody else I really needed to know. Maybe a defensive tackle I can figure out. Um, I didn't really need any more offensive linemen. It's like, kind of, you know, don't need them anymore. Dalton Hebert. Won't have position to sign. Johnny McAllister, I swear, looks pretty good, man. I don't know why the heck they all got all these A's. And, like, he's probably B man coverage and A zone coverage, but he sucks for some reason because he can't play middle linebacker. So I just put him at corner. Would that work? <laughs> No, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, let's go defensive tackle. Is there anybody in the late rounds that could be good? No, there's nobody. Uh, let's look at what Demarcus Bennett is. I'm sure we can finish him. See what he looks like. Maybe I can try and trade back up into the first round. E, probably not. I don't really know. Uh. Let's advance the week to the draft. Let's do the draft. And let's see what we can do. So, start the NFL draft. We'll start drafting. I do want to do something real quick. Uh, I want to look at my draft board, not what I was just doing. <laughs> I want to look at my draft board. I got pick number three. I want to look at the defensive ends. Excuse me? Um. Well, Demarcus Bennett is the only person that worked. <laughs> the other two guys didn't do anything. I, didn't, I don't know what they are. I'm happy to see that that's still fucking broken. What is going on? I went to favorites, fucking thing. I don't what the, I don't even know what's going on anymore, dude. Oh, um, so happy to see that that's still broken. I believe, hopefully, Geo Graham's the best one because that's who I'm drafting because I got nobody else I can draft. Uh, I'll skip ahead. They're gonna take Lionel Kennedy. If only I knew what he was. Do I need to put a fucking defensive end scout at every position to figure out what these guys are? Is that how I need to do these things? That's not fair if that's what's true. Geo Graham, who we're going with because I need a defensive end. He's a normal dev trait. Fuck you. Couldn't at least give him a, give him a star, dude. Game sucks. Game fucking reeks. Advance the next user pick. I probably could have went back and tried to trade into the first round, but... Whatever. Defensive tackle. Spencer Allen is here. He's a round one to two guy. I'm going to give him a shot. He probably sucks. Probably not very good. But it's the best I'm going to do here. <laughs> um, probably could have used that on something else. But defensive tackle is what I needed most. Because I got nobody else at defensive tackle. Johnny McAllister went to the Saints. Huh. Is there anybody here? This corner's still here, so he must not be that good if no one's taking him. Pat Schaffer's here. I don't really need the corner. I'll take Pat Schaffer, see if he's any good. Probably not, but he's got a hidden dev trait, actually. So, huh. That works. Um, I want to see if that corner's still there. I don't think there is anybody here that I could necessarily need dramatically. Chris Rich is still here. Let's take him. Why not? Let's see what he's at. Probably sucks, but he's got A man coverage and B zone coverage. He's got a hidden dev trait too. Nobody wanted him. He was round two to three guy. This is round four, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do depth pickups with round five, and then I'm going to draft the kicker and punter in round six and seven, and I will see you guys at the end of this.
All right, so we are at the end of the draft here. Let's take a look at the draft recap. See how he did. So Geo Graham is a 73 overall. Spencer Allen's actually a 71, so no, better than nothing. Pat Schaffer's a 74. Chris Rich was a 78 overall corner, and nobody took him. Will Olson was a 79 overall kicker, and Trevor Sherman is a 72 overall punter. No fucking shot. Who's the best player? So Lionel Kennedy ended up being a 75. I never was going to be in position to draft him, unfortunately. Moses Ewing was a 79. Lamar Hightower was a 79. Will Olson was a 79. So I did get one of the best players in the draft. At least top two. Because we somehow stole Chris Rich. Who, why he dropped so far, I got no idea. Uh, but, mm, pretty nice. I know the Saints got the one guy I wanted. Johnny McAllister was still a 71 overall. So he wasn't even bad. I don't know, well, he had a round three to four grade. Was there that many 70 overalls in this class? That's crazy. Holy. The fact that they were still going. How many 70 overalls were taken in round three? A good couple? Fuck, Lamar Hightower was taken in round three. I could have taken Lamar Hightower. What is. Jonathan Charleston was taken in round three. Oh my god. What is going on? And then I took fucking Chris Rich in round what what is going on guys what is going on because the he went in the second round Lamar Hightower what the hell dude this draft class was nuts I got a 78 overall corner in the fourth round wow holy shite that, that is crazy dude can I move him back to safety? I don't know. I'm going to try the Bengals offense. The Patriots defense is pretty well for me. Let's take a look at the team here. Quarterback, we got Caleb Williams and Russell Wilson. Hopefully Russell fucking retires after this year. Halfback, Javante Williams, Lonnie Ballard. No fullbacks. Wide receiver, we got Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Marvin Mims Jr., Jalen Virgil, and Brandon Johnson. Tight end, we got Greg Dulcich, J Jason Mackey, and Craig Greg Clemens. Left tackle Garrett Bowles and Jonathan Bradshaw. Left guard Ben Powers and Luke Jackson. Center Lloyd Cushenberry, Pat Schaffer, Alex Forsyth, and James Empey. We can actually afford to let Lloyd Cushenberry go now. Right guard Quinn Miners and Luke Bottenberg. Right tackle Mike McGlinchey and Quinn Bailey. Left end Geo Graham, Awazarike, and Nolan G Gary. Right end Zach Allen and Matt Henningsen. Defensive tackle we got Spencer Allen, Justin Smith, and Tyquan Peterson. Left outside linebacker we got Randy Gregory. Middle linebacker Drew Sanders, Alex Singleton, Howie. Howie Durbin and Trenton Logan. Right outside linebacker, we've got Baron Browning and Carl Nickerson. Corner, Patrick Tertain the second. Chris Rich, Damar Mathis, Damari Mathis, and Riley Moss, and Fayon Hicks. Free seats, we've got Justin Simmons, strong safety, Kobe Bryant, and Alton Dennard. Kicker, Will Olson, punter, Trevor Sherman. Will Olson also had a hidden dev trait. I wonder, did that corner have a hidden dev trait? Chris Rich, did you have a hidden dev trait? He did. Dude, that is insane, man. That is insane. I can't wait to figure out what these guys are. Because the kicker's a hidden dev trait. He might just be a star, but if he's a superstar, I will go nuts. Chris Rich, man, if he's a superstar or a superstar X Factor in the fourth round, that mean it's crazy that he's a star. And he's 78 overall and he went in the fourth round. But, I mean, fucking A, dude. I will go mad. Spencer Allen was a bronze and Geo Graham was a bronze, but that is A okay. Uh, besides that, that is where we're going to leave this video here. And we will continue off with the next video. I'm going to talk to you guys as I'm changing the scheme. But, yeah, uh, we sucked overall. Um, I want to try the Bengals offense because the Bengals offense did really well for us when we were playing as the Bengals, I guess. But multiple zone run, I mean, what's good for us? Vertical zone run actually works for us. Multiple zone run really doesn't. Spread works pretty well. West Coast Zone 1 and West Coast Spread work pretty well. What do the, the Chiefs have? They have West Coast Spread. Should we try West Coast Spread? With... Let's try West Coast Spread. Where's Kansas City? Let's give Kansas City Playbook a try. And Defensive Playbook, we're going to stick with New England because New England did pretty well for us last year. That's what we're going to go with. But that's where, we're gonna, uh, that's where I'm going to leave this video here. 
If you guys did enjoy this rebuild, please drop a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you're new here, please subscribe for more Madden 24 rebuilds. Uh, I think before the next part for this comes out, we're going to be playing Fort Solace. So there's part of my gaming videos. That's the game I plan to play, at least. But yeah, we got Fort Solace coming next week. I found some games I might decide to record in September, but we'll see what happens with those. Then we got Spider-Man 2, Alan Wake 2 in October, and I might play Alone in the Dark as well coming in October. November, Modern Warfare 3, December, we got Avatar. Yeah, uh, still pretty good game. A lot of pretty good games coming out this year that I plan to play. Also, I do WWE and AEW professional wrestling content. So Thursday, expect, or Friday, expect the all-in predictions video to come out as well. Social media is in the description below. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, threads. Go follow all of those. Leave a comment what you thought of this part one of Denver Broncos Rebuild, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for tuning in.